Hello everyone, welcome to Carnivorous Plants Hub. Today I wanted to bring you a quick video answering a really popular question that I've been seeing a lot here lately, and that's can Venus flytraps eat dead bugs or insects? It's actually a really common question that I see and I felt like it deserved a quick video so that I can give you a good answer and give you a quick demonstration here at the end. So in short, yes, Venus flytraps can eat dead bugs and insects, but it's really important to understand that there's a bit more to the process that needs to happen in order for the Venus flytrap to digest an insect properly if you feed it a dead one. Before we start talking about feeding Venus flytrap dead insects, I did want to recommend something real quick and that if it's possible, I always recommend feeding Venus flytrap live insects. It's just what's best for the plant. Uh, we will get to discussing that here more in depth in just a few minutes, but I also want to point out that if you're growing a Venus flytrap outside, you probably won't ever need to feed your Venus flytrap manually. They're really great hunters and they do a great job of catching insects on their own. I also understand how cool it is though to feed your Venus flytrap uh, the dead insects. So if you'd rather handle dead insects than live insects, then I can definitely demonstrate how you'll do this process so that you understand how to feed your Venus flytrap a dead insect. All right, so you've decided that you want to feed your Venus flytrap a dead insect. What I recommend is first trying to find an insect that has died recently. This won't always be easy to determine unless you kill the insect yourself. If they're too old, they might lose some of the nutrients the flytrap needs to make the whole process worth it. Having your Venus flytrap close and go through the process of producing the digestive enzymes is incredibly taxing for the plant, so it's really important that the flytrap gets back more than what it put out. Older insects might not be able to do that. So what I really recommend is if you can, to kill your own insects so you know that it's a fresh kill. All right, and real quick before we talk about the type of insects that you want to pick to feed your Venus flytrap, if you're finding this video helpful, please make sure to like and subscribe to support my journey starting my own carnivorous plant nursery. You can also check out the link at the top of the screen there. You can get your own free principal plant tracker and Venus flytrap care sheet at carnivorousplantshub.com slash plant dash tracker. Just put in your email address and it'll be sent directly to you. I really, really appreciate your support. Another thing you're going to want to consider when feeding your Venus flytrap a dead insect is the size of the insect. You want to make sure it's no larger than one third the size of the flytrap. For this process to work properly, you need the flytrap to close and be able to maintain a tight seal. If the insect is sticking out, it won't maintain a tight seal and it will actually kill that Venus flytrap head that, that ate the insect. It won't kill the whole plant, but it will kill that head. It'll turn black and it'll just die off. So it's really important that you make sure to find an insect that's small enough to create that seal. Okay, I'm gonna give you some insects that I recommend and some insects that I don't recommend feeding your Venus flytrap after it's, after it's dead. I recommend spiders, wasps, houseflies, mealworms, and crickets. I don't recommend ants, any hard-shelled beetles, earthworms, or any snails and slugs. Also, caterpillars and earwigs will oftentimes work, but they can also eat their way out of the trap, so I don't really strongly recommend them. Anything that is too wet and squishy or anything that is too hard really aren't good for Venus flytraps. They can cause a flytrap head to rot and die, or just not get anything out of the insect. Ants are kind of a wild card. They're super acidic, and, they, and there's a lot of reports of them killing Venus flytrap heads. I've also seen people who have no issue with ants, so, so ants are up to you. They're kind of a 50-50. Okay, I'm going to give you a quick explanation and demonstration actually here showing you how to feed your Venus flytrap a dead end. But real quick before we do that, if you'll check this out, I'm going to show you how you can get your hands on your very own Venus flytrap. I'm super pumped about teaming up with California carnivores. They're one of the most experienced and knowledgeable carnivorous plant nurseries in the entire world. They have a massive selection year round of all types of carnivorous plants. There will definitely be something in their nursery you fall in love with. On top of that, they've also been generous enough to offer my viewers an exclusive 10% discount on their order when they enter CP Hub at checkout. That's CP Hub. Head on over and pick out yourself a new carnivorous plant to add to your collection. You know you deserve it. Let's go ahead and get back to the video. To feed a Venus flytrap a dead bug, you simply put the insect inside the trap, make sure it touches the little trigger hairs on the inside, and it'll actually close really shortly. Sometimes it'll take one or two triggers of those stimulations of that little hair on the inside, but it will eventually close if it's a healthy fly trap. As you can see from my video, I picked a fly that was just a little too big. It almost was too big for the fly trap to seal. Anything larger than this, and it wouldn't have been able to close all the way. We're not quite done yet. The way the Venus fly trap works is they require a secondary response in order to trigger the seal and to release the digestive enzymes. This is a trait that they evolved to have to avoid wasting precious energy. If a raindrop or a leaf triggers the initial closing of the trap and no secondary trigger is detected, the fly trap won't seal and will open back up in a couple of days, avoiding wasting all that energy releasing its digestive enzymes. To trigger the secondary response, you want to massage the outside of the fly trap for 30 seconds to a minute with your fingers. Give it a little gentle squeeze. Be really careful here, you don't want to damage the trap. 
This will push the trigger hairs on the inside for a second time and the flight trap should create a seal. You can see one of the reasons here in my video why I don't like this process necessarily. I triggered another trap to close, which costs the plant some precious energy. Sometimes it's really hard to get your fingers in there and squeeze the traps, especially on ones that are close like this, without triggering some other traps. If the insect would have been trapped live, I wouldn't have had to bother the plant and the other trap probably wouldn't have triggered. If you did it right after about 30 minutes to an hour, it will look like this with a nice seal. You can see that the side of the trap is squeezed down on the insect now. It will form sort of a lip that can be seen around the insect. This is how you know it's sealed and the plant is ready to release its digestive enzymes. Over the next few days, the flytrap will release the enzymes and break down the parts of the insect it can and absorb. After about a week, sometimes a bit more, the flytrap will open up and reveal a drained exoskeleton of the insect it just devoured. I don't recommend bothering the insect as the wind will often blow it away. Trying to remove it yourself could result in you triggering the trap again. One flytrap head can go through this process three to four times before it'll eventually turn black and die. If there's anything that I didn't answer, make sure to sound off in the comments. I'd love to answer some questions. Uh, I love interacting with my community, so feel free to please an uh, ask any questions that you might have. Another really important skill that you need to master to be able to raise healthy Venus flytraps is watering. Make sure to check out this video right here so you can see how you can master watering your Venus flytraps. Thank you again so much for stopping by and supporting my channel. I really, really appreciate you, and I hope to catch you again in the next video. Bye.